Here I'd like to create a simple numbered list. Now one way to do this is to select all my text, go up into my control panel, put it in paragraph mode, and then just choose numbered list. Well that's pretty easy, but it doesn't give me all the control I'd like. For one thing, I'd like to have the 1 and the 0 and the 10 line up. That's a nice thing to do in multi-digit lists. So I'm going to undo, and I have actually created a paragraph style and applied it to this text and a little bit more text down here. So I'm going to go into my paragraph style and fix it there. In the left column, I'll just choose bullets and numbering, and then for list type, I'll choose numbers. Now when I do, this list pull down wakes up. So what does that mean? In this document, I just need for InDesign to keep track of one succession of numbers. But let's say that I also had figure captions, and they were figure one, figure two, so forth and so on. Then it would need two lists so it could separately keep track of the numbers and know which number comes up next. So I won't need that here, but it's something for you to be aware of. For my format, I'll just choose plain old one, two, three, four, but here are your options. And then this little area here looks a little strange, but it's actually a pretty simple recipe. Here's what it means. The little caret and number mean InDesign type me a number, and then a period, and then hit the tab key. I can also add a character style, and we'll get to that in a little bit. So this is my basic numbering, and you can see it already starting to take place, but I need to do something about this indent. That's way too much space between the numbers and the text, and I don't have my numbers lined up. So down here at the bottom where it says bullet or number position, this alignment isn't about all of the text being right aligned. You can look at the text and tell it's not right aligned. It's talking about the alignment of numbers within this little strip to the left of the text. So it sort of stakes out a little band for those numbers to live in, and that's what this is all about. So I want my numbers right aligned, and then I'm going to start working on my indents. Now notice that it has a really large tab inset, half, a, half of an inch. And that's pretty ugly, and I sort of think it does that to call your attention to it so that you know you need to fix it. So I'm going to start by changing my left indent. I'm going to go for a quarter of an inch, and then I'm going to pull my first line back by entering a negative number. That's not quite what I want. That's almost what I want, but it's not enough room between the text and the numbers. So I'll increase my left indent, and I'll uh, increase the number, make it more negative in the first line indent, there, I think that's perfect. Now, are these the numbers that you would always use? No, it depends on the size of your text. And you'll just have to get used to sort of fiddling around and juggling the left indent and the first line indent, and that first line indent is almost always going to be a negative number. And notice what's happened to the tab position. It's cleared out because it says, oh, you don't need me anymore. When I click OK, notice that the numbers are still set off in that little band, and if I click and drag, I can't select them. So what if I want the numbers to look different from the text? Well, the only way to talk to the numbers, if you will, is to use a character style. So I'm going to go back into my paragraph styles, back into bullets and numbering, and I had already created a character style called red numbers, and all that character style consists of is just pick up the color red. So when I choose that, and preview is checked down here, you can see my numbers are now red. So that's the only way that you can address numbers as part of the style because InDesign is actually typing the numbers for you. You can't address them directly. But I've got a little problem down here, 11, 12, 13. I'd really like to start over with 1, 2, 3. You don't have to make another paragraph style. Here's all you have to do. Just put your cursor in the paragraph that's going to be your new number 1, right click, and then choose Restart Numbering. And there you go. It's as simple as that. Now notice that I have a plus by my paragraph style. It says, oh, you, you've messed with the numbering there. Don't let that alarm you. This is a perfectly legal thing to do. It would be a little bit obsessive of me to make a brand new paragraph style for every little set of numbered uh, items that I have in a document. And trust me, that's totally unnecessary. So I hope this helps, especially when you start making multi-digit lists.